Hi everyone, welcome back. So over the weekend, I wanted to wear a really dewy, fresh looking makeup. So I decided to do get ready with me and I also show you my hair and outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So getting right into it, during the daytime, I always apply sunscreen and this is my favorite sunscreen at the moment. As my foundation, I'm going with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is my newest obsession. I just recently discovered it and you guys watched me try it on for the first time. It's absolutely beautiful. If you can find a match in this and you love dewy foundations, I highly recommend this one. It goes on pretty sheer with one layer, but you can build it up to a really beautiful medium coverage. And for concealer, today I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye by A Cosmetics. I really like this concealer because it is full, full coverage, so it pairs really nicely with that lighter foundation. And I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and blending it in with my damp beauty blender. And I'm extending it up into my temples because I really want to use this to not only conceal, but also brighten my under eye area. And then whatever was left on the sponge, I brought it down to my nose area just to get rid of any redness. My skin was pretty good on this particular day, so I didn't need much coverage. So I moved on to a setting powder, and since I want this to be really dewy, I went with Dim Light from Hourglass. It's not going to be really good if you need oil control, but if you have dry skin like I do and you just want something that is going to give you that beautiful soft focus effect and also make your skin look nice and dewy, then I definitely recommend this powder by Hourglass. For my bronzer, I'm using the Sonia Kesha Cream Bronzer, which happens to be one of my all-time favorite bronzers. I recently repurchased a brand new one, as you can tell, and I'm just applying that uh, just very liberally on my cheek area and bringing it up into my temple, and I also warmed up my chin area. Now I wanted to chisel out my face just a little bit more, so I went in with this It Cosmetic Contour Palette, which I am loving, you guys. I know I think I've said that like three times in this video, but it's really, really good and I'm using that to contour and define my nose. For blush, I'm using this Makeup Forever HD blush. I love these cream blushes, but especially when I'm going for a dewy look because it looks like skin, and the color payoff is absolutely amazing, as you guys can tell, and I decided to go for like a peachier look. For highlight, I'm using this one by Vincent Longo. This is more like a bronzer slash highlight. It does give you that golden glow, and it's not quite as metallic, but it's also not subtle it's right in between and I'm applying that to my highest part of my cheekbone and also you can see I brought it up into my eyebrows next I'm going into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm going to be taking this really matte pink shade and that's what I'm going to use on my crease to warm it up and as you guys can see I'm not being very precise with it I just want to use this to add a little bit of color as the base of our eyes so my eyebrows are really bugging me, so I went in and defined my eyebrows before finishing the rest of my eyes. And I'm using my Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil, which is my current favorite. I'm sure you guys knew that by all my recent tutorials. And after that, I'm going to go back and finish the eyes. So I'm going in with this really gorgeous, like, chocolate, rustic chocolate color. And I'm applying that to my lid. And then I'm taking a blending brush and just making sure that all the harsh lines are gone. This is a very simple look. We're going to be doing, like, a smoky eye, a reverse smoky eye. To finish off the reverse smoky eye, I'm going to be using these products that came in this month's Julep box. And I've talked about Julep before. They're a monthly subscription box that come with full-size beauty or skincare products every month. I love the fact that you can build your own beauty box. You get free shipping. And if you don't love it, you can cancel it anytime. So I think it's an amazing company. And they're giving all of my subscribers 50% off of this same exact box that I'm using in this tutorial. So first I'm going to grab the Dulip Eyeshadow 101 stick and this is in the color Slate Shimmer. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a gunmetal purple color and we're going to be using this to smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm starting by tracing my lower lashes and then I flip the pencil over and it has this really cool smudger that I've actually been using for every pencil, not just this one. And you can see it just creates a really gorgeous um, smoky eye. And the cool thing about this is that you can also use it as an eyeshadow. You can use it as an eyeshadow base to intensify any other colors. And even though I'm concentrating the majority of that color on my lower lash line, I also brought it up into the outer corner of my eye. But 
that's it. I just kind of want to create a really pretty shadow. Next, I'm going to grab the black gel liner and this is called When Pencil Met Gel, which I think is a super cute name. And I'm going to be taking that and tight lining with it. I was surprised at how easily this went on. It truly is like a gel consistency, but because it's in pencil form, it's so much easier to use. And then I brought it up into my top lashes and then I took that smudger from the lash shadow stick that we use and I use that to smudge it out. I want this to be really smoky. I don't want like a really defined line. So I went in with some false lashes instead of mascara because on this particular day it was pretty hot and I didn't want to have to worry about my mascara smearing all over the place and melting. They just add a ton of volume but not too much length so it looks like it's my actual eyelashes. And then I went back to the gel pencer from Julep and I went ahead and filled in my waterline and then I also brought it down into my lower lash line. So I did the same thing that I did to the top of my lashes, to the bottom of my lashes and then I smudged it out with that smudger. After that it was time to work on my lips and I just filled in my my lips with this lip liner by ColourPop in the color BFF2. And then I topped my lips off with the last product in my Julep box. It's called It's Balm and it's in the color Apricot Nude. The best way I can describe it is like a mix of a lip crayon and a lip balm because it's super moisturizing and you guys can see how creamy it goes on. It just glides on but it distributes a lot of color. So next I moved on to my hair and I'm not going to lie you guys, I was on like third or fourth day hair so I didn't need to apply anything to it because it was so easy to put up. This is why I decided to do it in a half up half down dupe. And then to the bottom of my hair I added this Surf Infusion by Bumble and Bumble. It's like an oil mix with the sea spray and it just kind of makes it look a little bit wavy while adding some shine to the ends as well. I lost the clip where I put my hair up in a ponytail, but I just show you right here. That's literally all I did. I just took half of my hair and then secured it with a ponytail. And then I just went in and finished off the rest of my accessories. I used these earrings from Bobble Bar. I've also been loving this bag by Teddy Blake. I'm not a big bag type of girl, you guys know that, but there's something about this bag, like I carry everything with me in it. And I want it to be nice and comfy, so I decided on wedges instead of heels. And I'm wearing this super cute, flowy, super comfortable dress from Nordstrom. And that is my finished outfit. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye.